have a numerous for required, and I am uh, I'm prepping for a uh, dinner party that I got in a few hours. It's actually not even a dinner party. We're just having a few friends over. We're going to have some food. We're going to have a lot, a lot, a lot of wine, which um, <laughs> always makes the night better. So what I'm going to do uh, for food during this party is cook up uh, uh, several flatbreads. You know, they're really easy to make. You can do a lot of the prep ahead of time. Cook off all these toppings, and then really, as people get here, you just throw them on the bread, throw them in like a 450 degree oven. They take like six or seven minutes to cook. So they're absolutely perfect for nights like this where, um, you know, people are arriving at different times. You can make them, pop in the oven, go back to the party, have a sip of wine. A few minutes, they're done. You just kind of bring food out all night. What we're going to do is a, uh, an apple, brie, and onion flatbread, the trifecta there. You know, the brie brings this nice creamy, nutty flavor, the apples, a little sweetness, and the onions, just a, a tiny bit of crunch there. Really simple to make. Let's go ahead and show you how to do it. Okay, for our brie and apple flatbread, I'm going to throw a little caramelized onion on it. So I've got half an onion, just a yellow onion here, sauteing it off with a uh, little bit of olive oil, good hot pan, and a uh, little bit of salt. Probably going to take about 20 minutes or so to get these nice and uh, nice and caramelized. Okay, let's go ahead and start making our apple and brie flatbread. I'm using a little bit of uh, lavash bread here, and you could use pita, you can use naan, you can use kind of anything flat here. I like this uh, this type when I can get it. I throw a little bit of uh, olive oil down, and the olive oil, especially when you're using ingredients like apple, does a couple things. One, it gives flavor um, and moisture, but it also protects the bread from kind of wet ingredients like apples like this. Otherwise the juice kind of might flow through or will more easily flow through to the bread and make it a little soggy. I've just got some thinly sliced apples here. I did mine with a knife. You can certainly use a mandolin. And I kind of spread them out fairly evenly, one kind of thin layer. And then I've got some caramelized onion that I'm also going to spread out. Again, a little bit uh, um, very thin, nice and even. And you don't want to over kind of top any of these flatbreads, where they can um, they can quickly kind of overwhelm just the uh, the handling ability. You know, you want to be able to pick it up. You want to still be able to eat it. And then I've got a little bit of brie here. I'm just going to do kind of dots around the pizza. You get the idea. And then I'm going to throw some um, salt and pepper on here. And this cheese is going to melt nice and easy in a 400 and uh, like 425 degree oven for about 8 minutes, 7 to 8 minutes. And um, it's all going to come out just nice and beautiful. So the nice thing about these flatbreads is they are so thin, they don't take long at all to cook. 7 or 8 minutes in the oven, you get a nice crispy crust and you get a absolutely beautiful golden brown top. That brie cheese is melted, the apple is just slightly softened, and you are good to go. I'll see you next time on No Recipe Required.